Yo, yo, welcome to Small Mouth Crush. We're back at it again. Fishing the Chesapeake Bay in this thing with this guy. What up? No, I don't have a new boat. In fact, I'd never own a Skeeter. However, we're gonna go test drive this bad boy today. This your new baby? Baby. Couple things right off the bat. Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> <laughs> Couple things he's noticing right off the we're bat. We're gonna get out there, catch a few fish. That's all coming up. All right, so it's late fall. By the time you guys see this video, I'm actually about a month behind on all my videos, uh, which is a good thing, which means during the winter months, I won't have to do as much in the studio to be able to put some content out for you guys. We're gonna be headed up north, catching some big smallmouth still. We're gonna be doing some winter fishing. Chesapeake Bay is a year-round fishery, although it can get a little bit of cold. It doesn't ice up too bad. And the blade bite, silver body metal is rocking. Today, we're just gonna go see what we can find. Eric needs some help uh, with setting up his electronics, things like that. Um, so we're gonna go figure it out right oh yeah i'm sorry i didn't know i was on camera yeah, yeah you are you Absolutely, are man. we're just taking a look at the new boat the whole nice skeeter le yeah what's this the fx21 fx21 le okay. yeah yeah all right let's do it all right let's go we finally got in the water it only took about 35 minutes breaking in the boat the motor's still running by the way and it's cockeyed oh yeah okay so we're gonna fish for a little bit and then we're gonna work on electronics and get you set up i'm not sure where i'm gonna stand there's not a lot of room up front <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm feeling that or not uh, i don't think i am gotcha where's the boss from uh, the box i know you don't even I like to get the better angle from the back. Sometimes I can carry a lot of carriers. Oh my gosh, we got one, guys. I'm going to try to get that Oh, man. <laughs> Jesus, how do you do it, Eric? I don't know. Woo! Don't make a scene. Yeah, he was in like five Keep foot. your rod down, if you know what I mean. Me. Started and Eric hooks up with an epic largemouth bass on the Chesapeake Bay. How do you feel right now? I like it. It validates what I know is What happening. are you trying to do here? Um, it's this fall Now, tide. you do a lot of uh, stomach landing, right? Or how are, how are we going to land this beast? How are we going to land this beast? He's got one tine. Oh, which man. Means he really didn't want to eat it too much. You know? Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Uh oh, Don't oh you got him, man. What? You know what? It's a good start. It is. It feels good to get the rod bent. Yes. You know, start out with your little flat side in a shad pattern. Uh-huh. And then you'll notice what I do, because these baits like to tumble, is I put a little wrap of lead on the back hook. You okay. can do that with a shad wrap, and so instead of the bait tumbling, because it's weight backwards, it'll sail a little bit better for you. Sure, runs better. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yep. yep, and we got a nice, nice uh, three-pounder? I think so, maybe two and a half. Okay. It wasn't too fat. All right. First customer of the day. I'm happy when I can crank and put all the plastics away. <laughs> hey, hey. So he was he was almost at the boat when he ate. Right. When I stopped it, he just loaded up, man. Well, I'm going to get back to my buzz bait if you don't Dude, mind. Please. Okay. So as a non-boater, co-angler today, I really couldn't get the angles in the morning. You know, he just wouldn't let me get a good cast in at all. So I'm kind of just sitting there eating. Sometimes I squeeze up front. Quite often I do. Of course, uh, he's going to hook up with another nice size fish here. It's going to be the theme of this YouTube video. Eric catching fish. You'll see what I mean. I shouldn't say much about that. That's pretty good. Does this trip come with a courtesy landing? Oh, you want me to get it? 
You want me to get that fish? <laughs> what? Oh, what? Get him! <laughs> get him! Oh, come on, come on! Come on, come on! Too many hooks in his mouth. Come on, come on, come on! You got this. All right, hold on. Team, team, turning. Team Derby. Oh man, some team weight Derby. there. Thank you. Why don't you talk about this guy? Yeah, so uh, that's a good fish. Yeah, that is a nice fish. I'd be happy to have that one in a tournament coming up. Um, yeah, so basically, you know, this is what I do in the fall, man. I just, when the shad start to pour in, I just take a flat side crankbait and go to work. Right. And work the angles and parallel stuff and stuff that you normally wouldn't see people doing. No. Don't publish this. I won't. <laughs> I think I'm going to need the pliers okay. below your feet. Okay. Right next to the broken speaker. Yes. All right, you want to talk a little bit about your setup with the flat side crankbaits? Yeah, it's a uh, it's a custom G Loomis blank um, that my buddy wrapped. It's a Tennessee handle. And uh, I got a Daiwa Certate 25. Uh, and basically it's a five one to one so i'm not reeling a ton of line even though it looks like i'm really reeling i'm not reeling a lot of line in uh-huh it's just easier to tr to you know have a reel where you can steady reel it sure and uh you know i don't throw a lot of action in the bait i'll pause it occasionally if i hit cover but generally man these fish won't eat the shad in the fall and if they're keyed in on it i love this color it's a it's a craig powers bait you know and uh it's a foil bait what do you mean when you say foil? See the silver foil? Uh-huh. So you really get a lot of flash, which okay. is nice. Okay. And, uh, you know, I, I, I change out the hooks to number five, gommies, and I wrap the back with a little bit of lead just to keep the keep the tail down. Okay. And uh, so that it doesn't spin. It'll still spin when you cast sometimes, but doing this really helps me put the bait where I want it. And, you know, it's all about paralleling the banks for me. Finding that depth that they're hanging in and right now I've been finding them three to five. Tide's coming in, so they're gonna to start to move up. But see how it spun right there? Mm -hmm. A little bit tough in the wind. It's like a potato chip, but it's worth it. I did sneak a drop shot fish in here though. Definitely wasn't too big. Barely ate it. And then it, the hook fell out in the front. Thank God for the back trouble. What? Same deal, huh? Flat side special. Why are you on your back, dude? I don't. I'm <laughs> leaning over my rods. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I guess I better start throwing some flat sided cranks. Or I'm going to get my butt kicked today. did finally catch one on a crankbait, a lipless crankbait here. This time of year, you know, the flat-sided crankbaits, the square bill, even the Rapala DT series, as well as a lipless, it's definitely the way to go. Shad wraps as well. Water temp was about 52 degrees or so, so it wasn't terribly cold. The bite has steadily died. What is that? I know, right? It's interesting. All these secrets. A lot of birds working, but the fish are not working. We'll keep checking it out and get on something. Something good. It's hard being a uh, co-angler. It's really depressing, actually. Why is that? I can't get a good cast in, dude. You can't get a good cast in? What are you talking about? I'm just saying. All right, it's time to get out. Go find some bigger fish. Some grass fish, maybe. We're going to be looking for some current and some grass and some shad. I think we found something. They're barely biting it, dude. Trailer hook. Thank you very much. Whoa. 
What? How? Spinner How? dinner. How am I getting my butt kicked here? Put a spinner dinner on, man. It's a nice one. So we hopped around to a few different spots, and I still can't figure these fish out. I don't know what to do now, man. It's all about choices, man. What's your choice? What are we doing? It's high incoming, right? Yeah. It's about as tough as it gets from a tide perspective with zero wind. So, the yeah. options are limited. So I finally put on a swim bait. It's actually a chatter bait with the swim bait as a trailer. No skirt. I was able to get a decent fish there. Notice I'm at the front of the boat. Maybe that's why. And Eric goes back to work with the old spinner bait. So he was using real small blades imitating the shad that's in this area. And um, slow rolling it. He was jacking on these fish. Every once in a while, we get a decent fish. A lot of two pounders. I was just too stubborn. I want to get a drop shot bite going. See those little patches of grass in there? And that's what those fish were keying in on. And I wasn't expecting the quality of fish coming up next year. But after he caught that big one, I put a chatterbait on and ended up catching a few fish as well. That's what I'm talking about. That's why we come here in the fall. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> Where are you going? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Damn, that, that's what I... That's a stud. Yeah. That's a stud. That's why you come. Yeah, yeah. Seen the bite, too, which was really cool. You got up pretty shallow there, bro. That's decent. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Five pounder. Yes, sir. Five pounder. Five pound drop. Nice, dude. Dude, yes. So what's the deal? Spinnerbait action, bro. Yeah. Bigger fish want the shot. They do. They do. JV stopped in to say hi. He's out here like eight days a week, though. Eight days a week he fishes out here. How do you even do that? What's that? How do you fish eight days a week? <laughs> Johnny B. He does. Good to be Johnny B. I saw you with a seven pounder today. Yeah, it was a nice one. All right, there you go. We got on some fish today we did nothing crazy but we caught some good ones yeah we put together a little pattern yes you know so we're gonna head her in we might fish a little bit by the ramp but we had a long day on the chesapeake we did 30 fish at least a couple good ones so so that music in the background was coming from a house on the shore like they had it blasting like pandora's greatest hits. Kind of freaky because it didn't look like anyone was home. He had to be there. What are the odds that Eric hooks up with another giant before we go in? Oh, pretty good, I'd say. Yeah, he kicked my so butt so today. You think that's the right color and situation? Can I use the handy little spot lock feature? What do you think? Yeah. Oh, dude, he's a slob. Now, there's a lot of rocks. <laughs> I may need and require some assistance. Oh, okay. Oh man, nice. Look at these. They tattoo you. Dude. Slobberoni. Good way to end the day. Yes. We're not done yet though. 
Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave any comments and likes below. Small mouth crew! As always, we'll see you guys on the water. <laughs>